quick disclaimer. Everything in this video and all of my videos are my opinion based on detailed research that I perform. That said, I would recommend doing your own research before you make up your mind. Thank you. It's almost been a year since the explosive, is that the right word, explosive? Okay, let's call it aggravating Prince Harry and Meghan Markle interview with Oprah. Since it's airing, there has been a ton, and I mean a ton of analysis of the interview, including a cataloging and debunking of several lies that were said by the pair. But the lie that I still can't stop thinking about is the one where Meghan said that she and Harry got married three days beforehand you know, three days before our wedding, we got married. We called the archbishop and we just said, look, this thing, this spectacle is for the world, but we want our union between us. So like but that little fact was refuted by the archbishop himself, who came out and said, nope, that didn't happen. So I can't stop thinking about this lie because it's so significant and easily refuted. So why lie about it? And this begs a bigger question, which is why do narcissists lie? And why do we fall for their lies? Well, to understand that, we have to talk about what a narcissist is trying to do when they lie. Well, they're trying to convince you that their public image or persona is an accurate representation of who they really are. Now, what's a persona? Persona is the facade that people put on when they are in the public. So for example, when you're at a party and you meet new people and someone asks you, how are you? You're not going to talk about how you have bills to pay or that you and your husband might be getting a divorce. No, you're not going to say any of that. You're going to say, I'm fine. How are you? This is your persona. This is how you represent yourself in the world. And it's not a fully accurate version of you, but it is rooted in mostly reality. You won't say, I'm great. I just got elected president of the United States. Well, a narcissist might say that. In my research so I could better understand narcissists, I came across a case study where a mother of a narcissist forced her daughter to go see a therapist. The mother's main concern was that her daughter was unemployed and struggling. When the therapist asked the narcissist about her job situation, she replied, I'm doing well. I just got a high paid, high ranked job offer from a top company. That was a lie, by the way. So we all have personas with which we engage with the world. But the narcissist persona is very different from reality. So coming back to the Meghan Markle lie about getting married three days beforehand, let's talk about the reality. The reality was that Meghan liked all the pomp and circumstance. She wanted the big wedding, the beautiful dress, the royal prince, and the fancy tiara. So much so that she had multiple arguments with the royal family and staff over her very fancy wedding. But that reality does not serve the persona that she wants to put out into the world. The persona of being down to earth, unmoved by money, and the frivolities of the rich, and ambivalent to the attention of the entire world on her wedding day. So why do people fall for her lies? Well, let's talk about the way she told the lie because it was done so masterfully. Meghan didn't talk about their real wedding while showing Oprah around her expensive mansion in an expensive dress. Instead, they were in their backyard, checking out a chicken coop, petting chickens, dressed super casually, literally hunched down to the ground, talking about being authentic. I mean, come on. I think just being able to live authentically. Mm -hmm. How can anyone say that they are not figuratively and literally down to earth? It's perfect. It's a perfect way to be convinced of her reluctant royal persona. That all this isn't about attention, money, and status. This is just about love and being real. I can completely understand why the people who do believe Meghan believe in her so fervently and think that all of us who don't are being incredibly biased against her. Even Oprah, someone who has interviewed so many people over the years, who is praised for having emotional intelligence, even she couldn't see that Meghan was lying. But that's the narcissist's true ability, to hide in plain sight. There is one big reason why narcissists are so hard to spot, and that's because they're incredibly charming. Now, if you're a regular person, you know, you're not a narcissist, you're not manipulative or a psychopath. When you sit down with a person and talk to them, you want to believe what they're saying. You don't want to assume that the person is lying. That's the initial goodwill that a person will extend to a stranger. That is until you get burned. That's exactly what Oprah did. She took everything that they had to say and accepted their story as is. And she received a ton of criticism for not asking hard questions, for not challenging Harry and Meghan. So why do narcissists think that they can get away with their lies? Even in those instances when they are debunked by the Archbishop of Canterbury himself, 
Well, narcissists rely on the good nature of people, on their willingness to give them the benefit of the doubt. The hosts of Good Morning Britain are a good example since they gave Meghan wiggle room saying that maybe she said that they were getting married, but really she meant they were getting a blessing. People who like a narcissist, who buy into their persona, will want to give them the benefit of the doubt. They don't want to be wrong about you. They like you. They want to believe you are who you say you are. This happens with employees and how they view their CEO. Elizabeth Holmes is a great example of a false persona gone way too far. Elizabeth sold herself as Steve Jobs 2.0 by wearing the clothes, maintaining intense wide eye contact, and even changing the tone of her voice. When you work to change things and First they think you're crazy, then they fight you, and then all of a sudden you change the world. And it worked. It worked on high profile people. Also this, by the way, is exactly what happens in relationships with a narcissist. When you start dating a narcissist, they sell you an amazing persona. You fall in love with that persona. But when you start to find holes, inconsistencies, lies, and you question the narcissist, they manipulate you into thinking you're attacking them. You're asking for too much. You're being unfair. So you think that the problem is with you. You're the one who's not giving them any room to be fallible. So you start making excuses for their lies, their behavior, and you start to defend their persona. And you become one of the tools of the lies yourself. Well, there you have it. That is why a narcissist tells lies and why it's actually easy to fall for them. Thank you for watching everyone. I'm planning to do a series on narcissists, dissecting questions like why are narcissists so attractive, why it's hard to leave a relationship with a narcissist, and more. If you have particular questions about this topic, please let me know in the comments below and I will do my best to tackle them. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you next time.